All right, everybody. Welcome to the start of our show. Now, we're excited because we're going to have our first professional athlete on the program. He's currently a broadcaster for the New England Revolution. Please welcome Jay Heaps. <laughs> Yeah, they sometimes play a little bit longer than they're supposed to, Jay. <laughs> they're good. They're Welcome great. to the show. Have some water, Thank please. I'm gonna. I'm, I don't I'm want excited. you to be parched here. I've been looking at this mug <laughs> yeah. for the last little while. Everybody loves the mug more than the show, unfortunately. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so let's talk. You were a member of the New England Revolution for years. In fact, uh, we go back because I work in sports TV, and back in 2005, actually, yeah. you were the first Revolution player to be mic'd up with a wireless mic, kind of like what you're I think wearing now. it's the now. same one. It might be the yeah, same yeah. one. Uh, we, we've got a picture of that. Uh, you wearing the microphone. Where? Uh, and oh, and, and it here is. it is. Uh, going where no soccer player has, has ever gone before for the revolution. <laughs> wearing a wireless mic, but now you're a broadcaster. Did right. you know you were going to go that way when you were wearing the wireless mic? I think mic? so. I was trying. No, I, I had no idea. I yeah. really didn't. Soccer kind of ends mm -hmm. without you really having much say in it. You know, you get older, you start to figure out that uh, when you get the gray hair, mm -hmm. contracts start going down and they start kicking you out the door. Uh, you're kind of <laughs> your local guy. You were born in Nashua, right? I was. I okay. was born in Nashua and grew up in Long Meadow, Mass., which mm -hmm. is, everyone knows, right down the pike near... Springfield. So it must have been kind of cool playing professional soccer for the hometown team, it, and uh, yeah, no, to see was, the league start off. I know, but you did come from a different team, though, right? I did. I came from the team in Miami. Was mm -hmm. traded here, and it, that was what was awesome: was coming here and being able to play in front of the guys I grew up with, mm -hmm. coaches. The problem was my parents had to buy season tickets because every week they were trying to hit me up for more tickets. And I see your parents here. But I had to get season tickets because every week I ran out of tickets. I was like, hey, there's too much here. But it's kind of cool. You had a, a great um, career here. Uh, you were a defenseman, right? Yep. And, uh, and you ended up on the U.S. soccer team, right? Yes. Is that, is that your biggest honor? Uh, well, I was the oldest guy they've ever, like, so <laughs> it's a funny story because how I got there was I, I, had, I was the longest tenured player in Major League Soccer without getting called up to the national team. Mm -hmm. So it, it was kind of a running joke, like you're, you, everyone, you win awards in Major League Soccer, but you don't make it to the national team, and it's always kind of supposed to happen along the way. And I'd been called in the national team, but never stepped on the field for the national team. Mm -hmm. So finally, my last year, 11 years in, I played 320 games, and they're like, you know what, we're going to give you a shot. <laughs> That's so fantastic. I felt like, ever seen like the, the natural, or like the old guy, or like the rookie, yeah. you know, the, the old guy gets the shot. So I was called up when yeah. I was 33, so it was fun. Yeah. 33. <laughs> The old guy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> now you're uh, calling Revolution Games with uh, our old pal, uh, Brad Feldman. <clears throat> yeah, and, uh, I don't have a drink yet. Yeah, <laughs> you got a drink to talk <laughs> about him. Uh, how is it working with Brad now? You guys basically, you travel with the team, right? We do, okay. yeah. And it, it's been good. I mean, it's good for me because it keeps me close to the game. You, know, you retire and you think you're going to go live in a shack and mm -hmm. no one ever is going to talk to you again. But now I get to travel with the group. and. Brad is has been really good. I mean, as much as we can joke about him, he's, he's a quirky guy and he's 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 smart as heck. But the one thing that I love about him is he's been really good for me because I went right from the field into the booth less than three months later, mm -hmm. and and he was a good role model and a good guy to do you, say. Do you like doing it? I, I do like doing it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's a lot harder than I thought. A lot more preparation, but I, it, it does. It keeps me involved. I was a big film watcher growing up. I mm -hmm. loved the, when I played. I, I played basketball in college, so I knew about film and having to watch it. So I can prepare like I'm playing in a game. I just I have to go talk about it rather than go playing it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, listen, before we go, yeah. we know that something happened. We, we had our uh, annual event for the Jimmy mm. Fund, and my dad has a shirt. Now, Liz from the Revolution sent this. Uh, it's from the team, and why don't you tell everybody what it is so we All can right. uh, tell people at home about it. Well, this is an autographed jersey mm -hmm. for the New, from the New England Revolution. I see Taylor Twoman's name on here, so this is a pretty good one right here. Nice. Taylor Twoman's So the whole time. team is basically the whole time, signed The whole it. team is signed this, and they want to give it away as a special... You know, special kind of donation, a little special thing that you're going to have a fundraiser for the for the Jimmy Fund. Yeah. So I think you should go ahead and, and I think some tickets involved too, right? Yeah, she did give us a game? ticket package. So we're going to put this on our website, and if you're watching at home and you're a Revolution soccer fan, uh, you can win this. We'll have a drawing for it, and all the proceeds will go to the Jimmy Fund. Thank you, New England Revolution. Thank you, Jay Heap, for coming here. We appreciate Thank it. You. We'll be right back right after this.